we will fight terrorists and win again, and America will be safe. Politicians oftentimes capitalize on fear. They can't help it because when people are fearful, uh, they want more security, whether that's rational or not. But are our overseas bases really making life safer for U.S. citizens? When you use these bases to launch interventions, then you run into blowback. And a lot of that we're seeing now is blowback terrorism in one form or another. But the real question is, do we really need to be doing those things? It has nothing to do with our security and everything to do with empire. You need to be careful. Just move one step by one step. As Ben Colt waits for the UK Supreme Court decision, he hopes that this is the year that both government policies will change so that he can finally share his birthplace with his grandchildren. My grandson, he wants to know his grandfather's place of birth. If I, I can bring my grand grandchildren, to Chagos, it will be one of my dreams. Not only me, but for every Sagotian to be able to show them their roots. Just go slide. There is a base in the Indian Ocean that wrongfully excludes from resettlement people who were born there. It violates not only US law, but international law and UN treaties that the US belongs to. The United States is basically saying we need to violate the human rights of one class of people in order to protect the standard of living for another. 